Here's a two two. challenging things with its key signature, the rhythm, and the added grace notes. So I'm going to break that down for you. The best way you can learn this is to take out all those ornaments, grace notes, and trills, and count the rhythm with the metronome, and play just the outline, the basic rhythm that you see here in two measure chunks. So we will do just that. I'm going to start at the beginning and go to the downbeat of beat three in measure 18. And our practice tempo is at 45. So, 46. so counting sounds like this. One and a two E and a three lolly, four lolly, one, three. Four and one and three. Big chunk there. I'm going to now play it again without the grace notes. <laughs> notes to this passage. I would be very familiar with the rhythm before you add this, but when you are ready, at measure 17, the grace notes that are marked as 32nd notes are going to be placed on the and of beat three. So after you play your A, uh, three and E and the, on the and, we're going to place those 32nd notes like this. Again, just like this. So playing them in context sounds like this. And now count for you measure 18 starting on beat three and go to the downbeat of measure 21. Just the rhythm. Three lolly, four lolly, one, and a three, a four, one, three E and a four E and a one. Okay. Without the grace notes, it sounds like this. notes you're going to have make sure your thumb is on thumb B flat or the trill will not work it's printed on an A flat which means we trill to a B flat so we're gonna wiggle our middle finger for the trill on the A flat and then when you're ready for the grace notes on the uh, last 16th note of the beat you can go to G and A flat and jump up to E flat that will sound like this Similarly, the next 
next measure, we're going to trill the A to B flat. Thumb must be on B flat, and we're going to wiggle the second finger now because it's an A natural. Measure 21 and 22 sounds like this. of the rhythm before you add the trill and the grace notes. In measure 23, we have a trill on an F. That's a simple one. We're going to wiggle that first finger, F to G, and then our grace notes go E, F to G. So here's 23 and 24. in your great um, habit of counting first and then playing with the metronome. I'm going to now play for you without the grace notes 25, 26, 27, and 28. This long chunk here. No grace notes, no trills, the skeleton outline you can count along. to make a difference between the eighth notes four and in measure 27 and the beat one the dotted eight sixteenth note one a uh, two in the next very next measure 28 uh, it switches a lot between these two rhythms so we want to make sure we're clear as well as when it goes into triplets we need to be very clear that it is a triplet rhythm is super important in this etude so here it is with the grace notes Again, the 30-second notes are going to fit on the end of beat 2 in measure 25 and the end of 1 in measure 27. So 25 alone will sound like this. Wait all the way to the end of 2 and then 27 just on the end of 1. Here it is. And now here it is with the grace notes all together, measure 25 through 28. You only need one or two wiggles on the D flat measure 28, and that D flat is going to be play the trill with just your pinky and then trill your second trill key to get you to E flat. So, in time, again, it's going to sound like this. Takes a little practice to control that third finger trill, so spend some time practicing just your trills. Then we're going home free as far as uh, grace notes go, and so I'll play 29 to the end. The fermata you can hold at your liberty. I would hold it at least three beats if you can.
I'm going to play it once all the way through now with the metronome at the speed of 64. 